Okay, so you might have noticed that in the last couple of vlogs, the audio from this sounded meh, not that great. It was a mix between the external mic and the internal mic, and I only want the external because the internal is really, really bad. So hopefully this just sounds cleaner and better and there's less motor noise and less. Ugh, I gotta, I gotta shave, this doesn't, I, I, I didn't shave for the whole shoot, and now, ugh, it's not a lot, it just doesn't feel right. I'm gonna shave, I'll be right back. Okay, much better. Now, today is gonna be sort of a mixed bag in the vlog because I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. So, while I figure that out, here's that video that I made for that French hip hop artist. He never replied, so whatever, here's the full thing. Now. Okay, so I want to take some time to briefly talk about what the shoot was like and what I got out of it. Before I do that, I want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to Nico. Merci mille fois, Nico, uh, for giving me this opportunity to be a part of this project and to work on it and um, help out in whatever way I could. So it was a lot of fun because can I and then I tilt it down a little bit and then I so it was a lot of fun because I mean I really felt like I was thrown in at the deep end there. It was so different from anything that I had ever worked on, any of the film shoots I'd ever been on because I mean it wasn't like a huge Hollywood shoot, but it was still a lot bigger than anything I'd ever worked with. And, and on and um, this is too close there we go and there were just all those things I mean th just the fact that there were actual departments like okay this is gaffer you're gaffer you do lights you don't touch the grip stuff and your grip so you only do stands and the dolly and you don't touch any of the electrics and I mean okay it wasn't that bad but still there were still those departments and like okay you're ga you know like I'm gaffer I'm grip I gotta do this and I can't go help out, you know, moving this thing for a uh, decoration or, or doing that or, you know, s setting up things for catering. So that was really different for me. I I'm just gonna be completely honest here. At the very beginning, I just felt so lost. Like, what the hell am I doing here? You know, because there was just so much gear, especially in terms of, you know, there were just all the lights and the stands and all that. I mean, I'd used some of it before, but not all of it. So I wasn't incredibly familiar with it. It was a learning curve and the crew there knew that, obviously. I mean, they knew, you know, Toby and I were just like 19 and they didn't expect us to have all the knowledge of, you know, someone who's been in the industry for 10, 20 years like they have. And they were just a great team. They were incredibly good at just, you know, teaching and expressing things and explaining and uh, very, you know, they were supportive, and but they also knew what the hell they wanted. One of the things that the first AC told me was, um, it's not about doing it well, it's about doing it. And that really resonated with me because I'm a perfectionist, at least I think I am. And when I do something, I want this thing to be as good as possible, you know? And and in this case, when you're when you're working on a film set, it's not so much about that. It's like, okay, they give you a task, like, okay, you're in charge of making sure people don't trip over this cable, but, you know, once you've done that thing, you can move on to other things too, and it's like, okay, well, you know that after this take, you gotta unplug the monitor cable from the camera and roll it back up and put it in place, people don't step over it, but once you've done that, you don't have to stay there, you know, clutching that cable for your life, you're done with that cable. You did your thing, now you put the cable down and you you move on to the next thing and you help set up the next thing or whatever it is you have to do. And, you know, you've got that one objective, like, I'm just gonna take the cable thing because that's, that's the thing that I did fairly often. You know, hooking up the monitor, hooking up the monitor cable to the camera. It's like, okay, that's my job. You know, you know once they're set up, bam, I gotta be on it, I gotta be ready to plug into the camera. That's it, it's not about, you know, and I was, I was just thinking way too much, like, okay, so does it go behind or here or there? Just plug in the damn cable. That really resonated with me. Now, of course, when you're working on a project, you know, like, like these vlogs or like a movie or whatever, uh, it's, it is important. You've, you know, you've got to have that, that, that perfectionist, and that's, that's great, but it's not 
applicable in all situations and you've got to be able to differentiate between you know when when is the priority making this perfect and when is the priority just making it happen so it's a learning curve um i i enjoyed it a whole lot if if i do work on film sets which i definitely hope to and i have the choice i probably won't be gaffer or grip because that's just not my thing one thing that i didn't really i mean i sort of did have the chance to, to look at it but not incredibly was uh the whole what what's it called um production design the production design aspect of a film is one thing that i would really really like to do more and also just small projects like my dslr a lens a mic that's it and going somewhere and covering that event and you know producing like a three to four minute video or whatever of that event, you know, things like that, just covering events. That's also why I love these vlogs because, you know, they're shot and edited in this, on the same day or at least, you know, one day to shoot and they're edited the next day. So there's that feeling of like, okay, I do the thing and it's done and it's just, it's so immediate, right? And that's what I love. That's pretty much it about the film shoot. Uh, again, it was a wonderful, wonderful, incredible experience. I had such a great time and, I loved it, and I met some incredible people. It's like 6 p.m., gonna head out to dinner. I'm not gonna vlog it, because it's just dinner, it's nothing very interesting. I don't know, I wanna do a time-lapse, but I haven't shot a time-lapse. I don't know, I hate, I mean, as much as I like doing these vlogs where I just, you know, talk to you guys, I also don't like it because there's like no cool music and shots and stuff and, ugh. Anyway, I, I gotta go. It's not about doing it well, it's about doing it. Oh, babe.